Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've posted a video due to illness and uh, yeah, some bit of work as well. Uh, so I'm coming back and I'm going to do uh, a new map, I decided. Uh, I want to do uh, a train ready start. I always like doing trains, but I always find I overbuild a bit too much and end up destroying half the cities to actually get it in there. So I'm going to do one on this mountain village which is not the easiest of maps but we should have some fun doing it i think and uh it gives us a a train track right away so uh so yeah let's uh let's jump in it so here we are so there's a lovely train track right in the edge of the of the start square which is just great i mean i could actually put it put like a, a temporary one in using some roads for now but you know this is a pretty cool map i love how this train track just snakes round to the external sort of uh outside world i just love this map and i've always wanted to 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 try it i've not really been on it yet so it's going to be a bit of an interesting build because there's a lot, a lot of terrain, you know, so there's definitely going to be some height differences here. Uh, not a lot to build on, so 21% this, and, and we don't have no uh, sea connections, but I'm not that bothered about seeing. I just I just like to have this, this rail set up because at the end of the day, I just feel... Uh, you know, some cities are, are born from rail, so that's what I want to do. So let's look at our our pollution. So we're just heading towards the mountains. So if we do our residential up here around the coast area and just keep our industry up up here tight against the mountain side, we should be all right. So yeah, I'm not going to put this. Obviously, we don't have trains right now, so uh, I'm just going to prepare for it. So there it goes off again to the other side, so... But I'm going to build it that in mind. Obviously this is where the highway comes in. I will probably not put another train uh, connection up that way as well. And this is nice as well. I just love how it just goes into these little mountainous cul-de-sacs. I'm sure we'll be able to do something interesting there. Just the snow top mountains look fantastic. So yeah, I'm going to look forward to this one. I think it's going to be a good build. So, you know, it's a new year. Let's start a new sort of, you know, few episodes. Let's see how we get along with it. But it's just excellent how the, they do these snow top mountains really, really well. So yeah, we're going to get... Uh, Basically, my idea is wherever we start a new town and city, we're going to have our rail connection in first, or at least the position of our rail connection. Right now, we've obviously got a lot. Let's just check in the water because I'm going to be putting our geothermal power uh, plant in here so we can obviously start earning some money, hopefully, from around milestone five as per usual. So yeah, let's uh, let's do a bit of uh, leveling just to just to get this in. So let's see. Let's just draw this out a little bit. I think it's around I don't know a fourteen fifteen sort of squares in. So we we'll give it a couple of squares, so about eighteen to twenty type of thing. So yeah, it should be all right there. Let's let's do it around there. All right, we can take it off dirt roads right now. <clears throat> let's uh, let's make this into just an old two way for now. Let's get rid of that. Right, let's uh, let's build it out a bit. Should be about right, I think. So while now since I put a train station in, uh, 
now, but I think that's about right. Let's have a look. What I want to do, I want to make this like a little sort of section which has some commercial around it uh, and then some some residential nearby. Okay, that seems to have just messed up a little bit on the thing. So let's just delete some of that and then let's pull that in. That's better. Right, just delete that. Depending on when you, you know, uh, where you start these roads from, you can mess up the the little zoning squares a little bit. Let's just do a square here, I think. How does that look? Let's just uh, ease them in there. Okay, so... Alright, uh, let's work out how we're going to do this now, so... We're obviously going to raise up a little bit, so let's make this top bit a little flatter. Let's get rid of these trees. To do block, you know, your vision on when you're trying to do the uh, terraforming. Let's just, just get rid of them for now. To try and remember to put some trees back, because as we know, it takes time for trees to grow, so... I want to I want to have this a little bit green this side. So my my idea is to you know that we will grow outside from this train station here, and we'll have a we'll have a thing next to it a bit of industrial. But on this little plinth up here, we'll we'll have our residential. So let's all right. Let's just. Let's do some more terraforming here. Let's see if we can just butt this up a little bit. And let's just see if we can line this up. Yeah, that should do. Yeah, let's get rid of that for now. Got that, right, let's put this up. Let's just take it a bit further out. No, that's not worked, has it? No. Nope. Let's delete that. too far in there. Let's see if that'll do it. <laughs> Apologies if I do hear me coughing. I've still got a slight cough. Took about a month this bug uh, and I've still got it. Still got the cough. But I don't know whether you had COVID or what but probably started about two three weeks before Christmas to be fair. So I haven't been doing much. And like I said, I started a new job, so um, I've been really busy with that as well. So, But hopefully I'll be able to get back into doing some more of these and hopefully we'll start to see some DLCs coming out, uh, you know, uh, in the next couple of months at least. All right, let's get rid of this, I think. Oh, very nice, but it's pretty useless to us. All right, let's... Let's get this uh, landscaping, let's flatten it all up to here. Yeah, all a good flapping. So I think we probably need to get rid of these trees as well. They're going to be pretty much in the way. Try not to get rid of too many trees because it takes such a long time for them to grow. But I think in this case, we just need to... We're going to have majority of... Uh, of residential up this end. So what I'm thinking around here, obviously we're going to have our schools and uh, med centres up here. And perhaps utilise some near the station area as well. Um, we'll probably build some, some residential down there too. But my idea is... By the time we finish this, 
uh, as in uh, built it all out to to what we're happy with. Uh, I should have enough points then, and I should have had my uh, uh, train. But we don't need it right now, so... We just need to really drop the train station once we're ready to move to another area. Because, like I said, I want, I want trains to be our focus in all the cities. So they're all going to have, well, a bit different locations. I mean, this is on the outskirts of town, which is fine. The next, next one, I might do it in more of a central location. Uh... And some I may do, you know, uh, underneath or above. Who knows? But I just know we're gonna be gonna be pretty much getting our our cities built based on the location. I'm just building this bit. Just I'm just gonna put this as the four lane. Eventually, this will go six. This will be the big main road. So for now, let's just get it. Let's get a big four on it. Get a, it's around about there. And we got this section which we just need to redo. So great how we get these like sort of key walls. Yeah, I just it just makes building walls hundred percent better. So yeah. Looking well now. So I'll probably just go to this side here to do some uh, some industrial over this uh, this area, I think. <clears throat> Might straighten that rail out a bit as well once uh, once I've opened up the uh, the other the other map square and and unlock the trains. So I'm not going to build this up anymore. I'm going to bring this to the ground, so it should get naturally. So if I just smooth this out a bit more. Okay, that's coming up to a natural fall. And that will obviously go and meet this here. So I think what we'll do, we'll... Obviously, I know on our highways, we will eventually turn this into a proper highway. But for now, at this stage, we don't need any sort of like... Uh, you know, anything fancy, we just need to get in. Traffic's not an issue uh, this early in the game. It can get an issue quite quickly if we if we do a really bad job of our of our planning. But I'm going to try and you know, basically we're going to be building uh, an arterial round our town here. This is what I'm doing with a four. Then you know, <clears throat> then we'll build our sort of two lane roads and then uh, we'll be using the alleys to come off and do and do the streets type of thing so we'll be sticking to like uh you know the pretty standard you know uh road hierarchy <clears throat> well this one's going to be mainly the arterial uh so we're gonna the idea on that is really to have the least amount of uh, connections. So it's going to be a bit steep, this, I think, but I want to keep it word. That's it. I don't want the bridge. That's it. I want I want the key wall. There you go. Okay, into the mass of things. I'm going to need to get rid of these as well, these trees too. So let's get rid of these trees. So hard to see the terrain without uh, when it's full of trees like that. So I get rid of all them for now. Obviously, it doesn't let me do the. It's pretty close there, so I'm just going to put that up there. Oops, wrong one. Need smooth. I could flatten that, but let's just smooth it. It just makes it a bit more of a ridge. 
Yeah, that should be alright. Now let's take that down there to straight. So I think we need to bring this this road forward here. I've got to be careful I don't want to cut into my Yeah, let's make these four lane. Okay. Right, let's see, we put a roundabout here. Roundabout there. Let's bring this across to here. Let's do the same with this one, take it across. And then let's uh let's meet this one down here. Okay. Uh probably do with a couple of more some sort of entrances here. So let's let's build one here again, trying to keep it as a key wall, not a bridge. Where am I gonna go? It's about as far as I can go for now. Um probably one over here too. Let's get a roundabout on there too. In fact, what I might do, I might... See, I could bring that in, but I don't really want to do that. So I'll tell you what, uh... If I go back that way with the... So what I can do is get rid of this. And... Yeah, that will work. <clears throat> now I could just bring that straight across and then vice versa and keep it as a two lane that way. I'll take this big four way and take it straight across to the lovely jubbly. I think that deserves a roundabout in the middle and over there. Okay. So that's probably going to have to cut in to get that. That's where my uh, geothermal plant's going to go. Right, let's start thinking about how we uh, get our residential up. So let's make... I, I don't want this to... I want this to be a non-standard, not a grid type of thing. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah, so I like that. It's it's a bit of a mix mix and match grid with plenty of walkability because that's what I want in this map as well. On um, plenty of walkability, yeah, that's not grid like at all. So what I need to do now is to put some raw houses in the so again I'm not going to stick this to a grid. I'm going to put these a little different, and I think I might do them at a bit of an angle. So keep it to 135 degrees, which should give me the right angle. So if I can just find it. 135, there we go. <clears throat> okay, yep, let's build that out there now. And there we go, that's looking really good, that. Uh, so we got completely non-gridded there so let's just uh see if i want to add so this is where my sort of uh probably not the um this is where i want to put my uh industrial so I think I'll do it around this one here, around this centre. This centre thing here. So let's... Uh, let's use the two lane. Okay. 
Yeah, I didn't quite like that one. So let's just leave it one square in the middle and let's put a path all the way through the center bit there. We'll get the right path. That's it. Again, just giving that walkability there as well. Right. Now, I think we could just do a similar sort of scenario the top, this, uh, the opposite end here. Let's see how far we can get. Not quite to the top. Well, that's all right. We'll just come back down a little bit. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not too fussed about this, so let's just take a couple up there. Okay, uh, let's put a... Uh, see if we can use the path system just to see if we can line these up a bit better. Give it a couple of entrances. Okay. Now if we can just go roughly in the middle of here. All right, that's brought it up a little bit. For some reason that's just uh, I can live with that, to be honest. It's brought it more in line now. It's only one little small gap. Yeah, that, that should be fine. I think what we can do, we can probably get rid of this middle bit here. I put us... Yeah, I think if we get rid of that centre road, they will look all right. Yeah, that should be fine for the industrial part. Okay. Let's uh, add our electric to it. So we're just going to porch some inside stuff. Uh, water collection can come from here. All right, let's get the road down here from... I just need the two lane, so we'll just follow it. No need to terraform. Okay. All right, let's go back to the water and let's see if we can get it. There, that should do that. Just need to bring that up now. Let's put it on. There you go. Just do it that. Now, the only last thing left, we just need to put in our... Uh, now let's save it. Let's always good to save. Sometimes we do get some dodginess. So it's looking quite good actually. I think this is gonna be in this is gonna be a good build. Uh let me put my uh sewage in there. Really close now to getting some reason that doesn't I always seem to do it on me that it doesn't seem to connect straight away. There you go. That's connected. Alright, I think we can start to uh, start to zone out. So, again, let's keep it small. So we do like 3 by 3s and 2 by 2s Oh, there you go. That's good. It means we can get our... Uh, Uh, let's do two and a two, and um, we'll put a path in the middle there. <clears throat> oh, this keeps going to the adjacent building, so we'll take that snap off. Uh, let's do the same on the other side. So we'll take a three, and a couple of twos, another three, another two, and that's that done. 
Right now we can go and do some uh, raw houses because we've put that up. Okay, and now we need to put in a little bit of uh, commercial. So keep your commercial pretty much as we normally do within next to residential. You don't have to have too far to shop. I mean, technically it's uh, same thing that they have to go to work, but we do we don't want you know industrial right next to residential. Not just for the pollution, but for the noise. So let's do again a couple of twos. Let's uh, three. Oh. Okay, I did a bit of a three there, but I'll leave it because not, not every house is going to be the same. So, what else do we have? Just basically on thing. Let's put on the. Uh, med center so i think that can go here just we'll just extend that road out so it covers it go on parallel okay so let's put our road in from here and then let's just angle it out There you go, from there, that should do it. Right. <clears throat> and a bit more of uh, commercial. Let's get some paths around as well. Again. Putting paths in is something I do forget about a lot, so I'm trying to remember and be good. Because mm. paths is invaluable, really, because it does help you traffic out a hell of a lot. Get those sims walking. <laughs> okay, love the jublet. Right, let's get some more. Raw housing dump. I think this is going to look really good once it's built out. Okay. All right, we run out of uh, same we could do with more, but. Uh, Sometimes it's better just to wait, pause, just let things build up. Don't rush at the end of the day. Just let things build out. Let's let's get our uh, crematorium, which is always the first one I spend. It's I just it's just a lot easier to place than the huge uh, cemetery. So let's stick it here. Okay, they've got all the services that we've got available right now, so don't need any more if uh, we're looking. So, yeah, about halfway through one. Yep, it's looking pretty good. Let's give it a little bit more uh, industry. Right, it's just a case of build, building out and building out the zones as we get along. So let's build out a little bit more, I think. Oh, yeah. Just waiting for our demand to come back up. I don't want to overdo it with... Uh, I know I've got lots of demand for commercial industry, but I don't think they're 100% right. Not that the demand bears anyway. If you look at the population and the jobs, we're, you know, we, we're doing all right. We don't really need any more. So we need people more, more than anything. So yeah, let's uh, let's just keep building out and building out. 
It's looking really good already, to be fair. Let's see what this guy's up to. He's, uh, he's, he's pretty content anyway, that's the one thing. Walking his dog. His houses look great. Let's see what's happening in the world. Probably need to get some trees in here too. Let's see if I can build out more law. More density residentials. Put that across there. So I'll do that one. Again, this just keeps it all nice and small. You're going to have rent too high regardless, but this does keep it down because, you know, rent is based on land value. So the more squares your house occupies, the more land value that's going to, you know, cost. So let's have a look what we've got here. Yeah, we're looking all right, so... You know, we're about even on workplaces and employment. We're at zero, so we don't really need to add any more workplaces. What we need is more residential. We need more people moving in. So there we are. Perfect. Okay. We probably need to build a little bit more out here, so let's see if we can... I need to get rid of these trees again. Just smooth it up. I don't want to do it all. Yeah, I always open this because we're going to be seriously in the red. Milestone 5 we should be seeing is, is popping into the green. We're doing well here, so let's put some more raw houses up. We've got some more demand here, so... Shoots away fast, that demand. We need to build that up. Let's put a couple of... Uh, more... commercial here. I think it's, uh, it's an interesting little... Uh, Little settlement, this. I didn't have a real big plan on it. I just wanted just to not do a grid system if I could. Yeah, the industry is a little bit gridded, but you would find that anyway, I think, anywhere, generally speaking. We'll probably be able to do a little bit more when it comes to... Uh, specialized industry once we start to unlock that as well so let's see if we can just just put off path here just to and we can put a bit more maybe a bit more commercial down here just to Don't want to overkill the commercial, but it will grow in eventually. It's the only problem with this, you had a, you had a road and all of a sudden it decides, no, I don't like that anymore. Zoning can still be a bit janky, but I guess, you know, it is what it is. So we managed to get a bit more more density to residential in here. A bit of a rain as well. But never mind, we can work in the rain. I'm in constant daylight by the way, that's why we haven't gone dark. I just find it easier to build if you've got constant daylight. I know I'm building in straight lines, but I just don't feel... 
I don't feel we should start with curves right now. We will get some curvy, more curvy type towns, I think, eventually, but right now. Uh, don't like that. Let's just uh, fix that. Yep. Good. Um, yeah. Let's just build out a square here, I think. Yeah, okay, let's do a bit of pathing to make it a little bit more. Yeah, that's all right. Let's put some raw houses here. Uh, let's go once, one further out, and then we can finish off just by putting a path in again. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I think some, yeah, commercial will go nice there. You don't need to have, like, houses, houses, houses. It doesn't have to be, you know... I want to leave some space. I can put some little parks in here and there as well. Once I open that up. And it's not so much to keep, you know, land value. It's, it's, it's to keep the Sims happy. But I'm quite happy with this right now. I think we're getting close to uh, ending this episode. Quite happy with what we got. Let's give them a little bit more uh, industrial. Just give them half. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, we're all built out nicely here now. All the raw houses are in. All being built. Yeah, I quite like this. I think we're going to. Uh, I think we're going to call it a day there, though. Uh, and we'll get back on the next episode. We'll fill it out a bit more. Hopefully, get closer to finishing this little this little town off. And there we go, milestone two. Perfect way to end. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on the next episode soon.